You ready? Go on, you want to go? When you look, what are these last two the day of reflection? What, what were the last two weeks been like for, for you with the Lakers? And um, obviously starting as a two-way guy getting you know, transferred into being on the, the official roster, starting games, and then just kind of carving out a role here. Yeah, I mean, I didn't come with crazy expectations. I was just trying to carve out a role and um, look for opportunities to play and show what I could do. I'll try to help the team win, you know, fill a void, you know, bring my energy, length, athleticism, and different things like that to the team. Let's try to get some wins. You know, I'm happy. We did get a few wins during that time. I wish we could have got some more, though. But just being able to play with, um, obviously, my, my, my former teammate, Malik, that was great. Uh, to be in the same locker room as him and then to play with great players like Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Westbrook, and to learn from them all the time. So I think overall it's been a positive experience for me. Um, you kind of joined this team at a weird time. As the, <laughs> uh, I mean, what was it like to see a team functionally have to start a playoff run? Three or four weeks before the playoffs, and how did you see sort of the stress of um, that way on guys? Um, I mean, I guess it's different here because the type of players that are here. I mean, this Hall of Fame level talent and expectation is always a championship. So every game is a little different with that, with the weight that was bearing on them. But um, I mean, I've been on a team that's trying to make the late playoff run when I was with Portland, and then we got the bubble run and made the play-in. So. I, I knew about the approach, and I just kind of wanted to see how people's mental approach was to that and how they react to adversity. So do you have any message uh, related to you from Rob in your exit interview about what the organization would like out of you uh, in order to see you having a future role here? Yeah, I mean, it was real positive in my meeting with Rob and Kurt, and um, I mean, they're excited to have me here this summer so I can put in some work. And um, they said a lot of good things about me and complimented my game and the different things that I bring to the court. So um, just to improve on different things as in put on some more weight, spend some time in the weight room and continue to improve my shot. But it wasn't too much different things that they wanted to say. Just putting in the time. We have a long off season and, and committing myself to the work. I think it's going to improve the results. So we're both really excited. Thank you. When you know, I was about to ask you kind of about those conversations and then what they were asking for, from you. Um, in, in terms of your shot, you can obviously play the four or the five. And um, I think the, you, you didn't get to play much with AD, but the thought of you two kind of playing together um, with, with your collective length and athleticism, mm -hmm. you guys could both step out. How do you kind of see that fitting and then sort of your role moving forward as you know more of a four, more of a five, a hybrid, you know, kind of how you do that? Yeah, I mean, I can play a lot of positions, whether it's the four, three, five, those are different things I can play. And then defensively, I'm real versatile. So playing with players like LeBron and AD, I don't have too much of a load offensively. I mean, finish the easy buckets, um, use my length against smaller defenders, and most importantly, you know, knock down that corner jump shot. I mean, I'm not happy with where I shot this last month, but um, I, mean, I know I'm very capable. I'm going to have a lot of time to put in work on that. So, I mean, I think those guys, they and they vouch for me, AD and Bronze. So I think that put me in a good position. Everything that I need is in front of me. And it's just a matter of time and the work that I put in. Yeah. Well, yeah, um, I don't know how many like one-on-one conversations you got to have with LeBron, but he's like one of the two greatest players of all time. There's like one lesson from him that you could take away from this last month or how many weeks it's been. What, what would that one word be? I mean, we didn't have too much one-on-one -on -one conversation about, you know, stuff like that. I just basically watched him and how he moved and how he behaves. And that was kind of the main thing for watching Brown. I couldn't give you like a one thing. It's just been a collective. Thank you, Thanks, 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 Have a good summer, bro. Appreciate you. I'll see y'all around.